when a team knows, this goes back to the conversation earlier. So when a team knows they're not going to win. They start shitting on people. Now, is the quarterback aware of that? Yes. Oh, so this is yes. why. Let me ask this question. Do they protect the quarterback in the media because yes. the quarterback is. Knows all the secrets. The quarterback the is a snitch. Yes, the he's quarterback, cooperating with the feds. That's, well, let me tell you why Yo, do you the think the, the feds. Co- why do you think the quarterback is the only one that makes all that money? No one else gets paid like a quarterback. No one. They're they're, they're on the inside. You are working for the organization. Yes, you are part of that organization. Yes, you are we, the face of the organization. Usually. And you know what I need you to do, Ryan? Don't throw that ball to, to Heartline because we you gotta, know what? We ain't gonna win this year. We ain't gonna go to the Super Bowl this year. But I can't be paying Heartline next year. Next year, yeah. you give it to them when we get them nice and cheap. Yeah. Is there a resentment from players oh, yes. to the quarterback? Ab- that cra- oh, so Luke. Couldn't, couldn't quarterbacks, I'm not saying you're wrong, but couldn't they also just get paid? Because if the Packers lose Aaron Rodgers, it's like damn near like LeBron leaving. Like they're done. They're sure, not sure, winning sure. games. They'll get paid for yeah. that. But no. what, I, what I'm talking about is, is the They follow best. the protocol 100%. They're a part of the organization. Yes. Whereas the if they players tell you that they don't the want this person to flourish anymore, you, and you start throwing that ball over there, you're in trouble. So Ryan Tannehill is like a house slave? He's a house slave. All QBs. And he should be because he shouldn't even be starting on any team in the NFL. He should be happy. I would yeah, have I, I just saying. had to pick a specifically white one yeah, for that, for that yeah, reference. For that you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, okay. I looked up so, <laughs> so they're all, they're all, they're, I'm going to use a less race based one. <laughs> they're all the feds. They're all cooperating. Yes. This Whitey Bulger type shit. Yes. Yeah, you out there doing the street stuff, but on the other ear, you talking to the FBI. Yep. And making sure that they protect you. Yes. And when it's a contract year, we not go into this guy thirty times a game or twenty times a game. No, you we can't can get afford eight that. Looks. Yes, we can't afford that. Let's go somewhere else. Yes, are players savvy of this? They are now. They didn't used to be. I opened when I started talking about it on the radio, talking about it on my podcast. Players started listening. And they started like, oh shit! They start figuring it out. Some players are still dumb to it until it happens to them. Like who? A lot. A like lot who's of players. been fucked over by this, like truly. Right? Um, John Abraham. No, no, I'm talking about. You can't fuck guys. over a corner. The only yeah. thing you can do to a corner is say he's a bum or not give right. him highlights when he does great. Okay. But like John Abraham, perfect example. Who he was that? a defensive lineman for the Atlanta Falcons, mm-hmm. and he had a. Um, you have a contract, and then you also have um, bonuses in your contract. Right. So let's say if you get ten sacks that year, you get an extra million dollars. If it's third and nine, sub. John Abraham, come here. Put another lineman in. Because third and nine is sack time. Passing down. Sack it's time. a passing down. There's of no course, question. Yet. Obviously. So it's like, and now John, John does isn't aware of this. He's not like, why He's the not fuck fig- do you keep yeah, taking Yeah, he can't it? figure it out. I, I told him about it. <laughs> I'm just fascinated that more people, especially players, aren't aware of the coincidence. They that cannot say anything. You become a locker room cancer. They will get the fuck rid of you if you start telling their secrets. All this stuff I'm saying, no one is saying it because the players cannot. And then when they retire, most of these players are trying to get a job with the NFL or if they have some type of football <sighs> camp or something, the NFL donates all their uniforms to them and they say, you shut it up. You be a good little nigger now. <laughs> you you keep your mouth closed on the bad things that happen to you. We're going to keep looking out for you. Wow. That's why you see Chris Carter's bitch ass, who, you, who was an avid drug user and, and, and doing all types of crime, and now he's got a la- mic on his lapel, and he's out here, I can't believe these players are getting DUIs and doing coke. You're risking your career. And just shut the fuck up. You did the same thing. It just wasn't any social media back then. Really? What did he do back then? No, he, gives, he, was, he gives talks and stuff, though. Like yeah. He was a drug addict. He was My a man drug was addict, addict, but he is a big... He one of the guys that is... Does whatever they tell him to say. You got to come when we when we come down on one of these players. We're trying to get rid of him and make him look bad. You got to get on the mic and you got to make him look bad. So you got to say how bad he's doing and how he should have never done that. Michael Irvin, another little coke snorting fool, always got something to say about somebody that gets caught with drugs. So you, so if you oh, yeah, are the voice of Cowboys the now. player, mm-hmm. I'm the voice. You, you're saying that Irvin and Carter are the, are the voices voice of, of the, the organization, the and yes. the league tells Irvin and Carter. Whatever the fuck to say. I would say 80% of commentators. In terms of, of their opinions on what yes. happens. They, so they're using them as a mouthpiece. Yes. And it's a convenient mouthpiece because like, here are two black men 
played. Uh, that, that played, they were exceptional. And if they agree with the league, yes. then the league must not be that bad. Deion Sanders. Let's just say allegedly. Hold on. The, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. Everything's go on, go on. alleged, yeah, everyone. You're going at go, Irvin. Go, 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 I'm going to go at Irvin. Go, go, and this go, go, ain't go. alleged. This happened right here. <laughs> oh, this happened keep to going, me. Keep going. Stop interrupting. So um, Deion Sanders has a show, 21, 21st and Prime, whatever. He always has the corner, the best corners on in the league yes. on the show. He's never once asked my husband to be on his show. So we go to the Pro Bowl, and Dion is is doing the draft. Him, they're doing the draft now at the, at the Pro Bowl, yes. where you're not just on an NFC team and you're not you get drafted. Yeah, right. So um, he's telling we see him in the in the elevator, and he's telling Brill like, man, the shit you do. I have never seen anybody Fuck fucking do the shit yeah. you do. You're fucking incredible. You're this and that. And so I say, oh, so you're going to draft him early? You're going to draft him first? Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get my guy. He's fucking best. He's this and third. He doesn't even draft Brent at all. He drafts all these other corners before him. We see his ass again later on that week because you know there for like eight mm-hmm. days. Yeah. He tried to high-five Brent. I blocked the high-five. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, watch out, dog. Watch out. And he was like, what's wrong with you? I was like, you didn't even draft him. He was like, well, I had to get my guys. I said, what do you mean you had to get your guys? He's like, well, we have our own little crew, you know, our DB crew. And we like, I mentor these guys and I have to draft them. I have to pick them because they're my guys. And I, you know, I talk about them. Like they have like a cult where he is only going to big up the people that he's told, I guess, to big up whoever, like Sherman, Peterson, uh, uh, Revis. They were all in this crew with Dion, and that's the only players Dion ever talked about at that time who were the best. And I said, you never, you in Brent's face, beating his dick, telling him how great he is, but behind closed doors, you never talk about how great he is. You never yeah. bring up all these incredible plays you've never seen anybody do. I watch your show. How come you never put him up on the screen? How come you never highlight him? Why do you think? Because it's Brent is not one of the guys. He's not. They don't want him to be a household name. He went to Shippensburg. They can't fucking promote Shippensburg University. You have to go to a big school. You have to be drafted high, and you got to sell tickets. Most people that went to a major university, it, Richard Sherman went to Stanford. Wherever these guys went, their fan base comes with them. The alumni comes to whatever mm. NFL team they go to, and that's how they get the fan base. Mm. Hey, we've got one of your guys here. He's the best. He's this. Richard Sherman been getting cooked his whole career, but nobody ever saw it because they never showed the highlight. As soon as he started going pro black and started talking about Black Lives Matter and the police isn't there, that's when you start seeing Richard Sherman get getting cooked. cooked. <laughs> yep. Yep. They made him so a household name, Richard and when Sherman, he stopped following the, the the rules of of just being a kept company man on the field, that's when they started showing his his low lights, and that's when they got wanted to get rid of him. And that's when they made him uh, tear his ACL. Well, he did that because it just <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> Who are the other company men in the league right now? You mean what do you mean? The perfect examples of like they they side with whatever the NFL says, and because of that, they get tons of uh, Odell's exposure. one of them. He's a company man yeah. for the league. Yeah, he needs the sh- the showboat and the shenanigans have to happen. That sells tickets. They love it, and then they try to persecute him for it afterwards. When they start pe- seeing people saying, "Oh, well, it's going too far," but they love it. They fucking love Odell. He is he is the face almost of the NFL right now. Who else? Um, that's a great example of Sherman. I mean, some people might say, "Well, now he's older, and that's why he's getting cooked." But you are saying he's been getting cooked his entire career. Yes. And we just started. You have finding never. You will never it see now. it. You will never see it on a highlight. You you would have never seen it. The second he went Black Lives Matter, now all of a sudden he's getting burned at practice. You think Jalen? Practice. You think Jalen Ramsey's company guy? No, not yet. When he get that contract after the rookie deal, he probably mm. will be. Now, how do these guys become company men? Does, does somebody the money? At, no, no. But does somebody at the NFL explain to them how this works? Yes, they're probably their agent. Says, hey, if you want to get paid, if you want to be the face of this franchise, we, we've got to just, you know, say some things that they want said. Keep, don't be a just locker room distraction or a cancer. You got to kind of go with the flow of everything. And then that's they, how you get paid. And they go, you're going to get sixty mil. Yeah. And we're gonna, you're going to be in Super Bowl commercials. You're going to be, yeah. Is going to be good. You're going to get chunky soup commercials. You're going <sighs> to fucking get. Uh, sprite commercials. You're gonna get all types of video game commercials. You're gonna get everything when you're the face of the franchise. As soon as you start saying some real shit, they're done with you. Done with you. Another company man is Dak. Oh, the ultimate. Really? The ultimate. What do you mean? 
Um, just the fact that he just even when his his slave master said, if anybody kneels, you know, you're going to get kicked off this team. First of all, they need Dak more than they need anybody on that fucking team. Right. And that was a perfect opportunity for you to just say nothing. Instead, you went out of your way to make a statement in favor of the owner who's saying disrespectful things about people like you and that look like you and saying, oh, well, I think it's right. I think we shouldn't talk about these things. I don't I don't see any problems with the police. I think people, sh- you know, that people are getting arrested and getting killed because they're doing crime. He's right. And we shouldn't be kneeling the game. No one comes to the game to see Neil. They don't want to hear about your protesting yet. You hear about breast cancer. You hear about uh, uh, military appreciation. They have all these things that they can put on and do and make a aw- make you aware of. But you can't make people aware of what's happening to black people. So Dak, you think is definitely coming? I think he oh, yeah. just said stand for the anthem. I don't remember any of the other. Oh, stuff. he said way more than that. You can Google it. He said way more than that. I mean, I everybody that I hates Google that it. motherfucker. Really? Players? Yes. yes. Really? Yes. No one can come out and say it, but yeah, he did some old, di- the most disrespectful shit ever. What did he do? He, he talked in favor of the owner. You can just be quiet. Uh, you can just be quiet, or you can be the ultimate company man and and agree with the owner. His own teammates don't like him. Nah. Really? Not the real ones. Not the, the yeah. Not for that, no. That's exactly what happened to Derek Carr. Why Derek Carr fell is because he his he had there's the offensive line is essentially a white position. Yes. It's one of the whitest positions in the NFL. It's yes. probably the only one, honestly, that's dominated by white players Kicker. outside of quarterback. Oh, that don't <laughs> count. Punter. So <laughs> when Dak when Derek Carr had a all black defensive line Guy offensive who puts line that blue thing over you when you're injured. Oh yeah, <laughs> these are the white positions. <laughs> <laughs> when Derek Carr, Back Philip, Philip, <laughs> please put that blue thing over a camera. When the <laughs> Cheeto in the front office called black players that are kneeling sons of bitches, yeah, the off the offensive line of the Oakland Raiders wanted to kneel as a group, and you are nothing without your quarterback. The offensive line of on, the o- Oakland Raiders, one hundred percent black. So first time I've seen that. It's very rare that a yes. offensive line is black. So if you're kneeling as an offensive line, you know who should kneel with you? Your quarterback. You know why? Why? You protect him. Ooh. You are the only reason he's breathing. That is your wall. That's your wall. Mm-hmm. He, they got in a physical fight in the locker room, in Washington Redskins locker room, because he was telling them to not kneel. No, none of you guys Derek are kneeling. Derek Carr is telling his black line not, not to, to kneel. kneel. And not only not to kneel, that he's not kneeling with them. And then next game. He hasn't been right since. He got sacked about eight times. He's been getting his ass fucked the up. The immigrants were crossing the border. Yes. <laughs> he was getting, he's been getting fucked up ever since then. He hasn't even, he's, they, have, they were on the road to a Super Bowl that year. He has, they have not been anything close to it since then. Now, is the offensive line ever concerned that by letting him get touched, it could hurt their career and their future contracts. Um, I don't think they cared at that moment. I honestly feel like it was rage, it was anger because he's already people have already questioned whether he's a racist. You know, he follows Trump. He he's uh, one of those oh uh, oh uh, uh, make America great again motherfuckers. Really, he's a hardcore Christian. He doesn't believe that police are murdering black people. He believes black people are just committing more crime, and that this is what happens. Really? His brother is the same way. His dad's the same way. If you follow them on social media, they're all very, very, very pro-conservative GOP running motherfuckers. Really? And so when he did that, you're like, like I said, if your offensive line kneels, I don't give a fuck what you believe in. You should have kneeled. And his his career ain't been the same since. He got fucked up so many times. He got injured quite a few this times. This week, him and Gruden were going at it. Did yeah. you see that? They yeah. were like yeah, screaming at each I'm other. I'm telling you, it's they because no one likes him. No one wants to play with him anymore. Is they he in a contract here? No. no, no. He got paid. He got, he got paid, big time, yeah. right? He got paid. Yeah. Um, oh, this is so fascinating that the that the quarterback is the feds. The quarterback. Mm-hmm. You know, is, it is interesting. Involves with the the organization and. They are complacent. Not only complacent, complicit. They are, complicit. Sorry, complicit. They are complicit mm-hmm. with reducing the value of players on their own fucking team, dude. That is because nuts. the win 
is in the money. Let me give you another reason why. So a GM oh. comes in. A GM comes in for a team. Imagine you're a GM. There's a real and quick you... point about Dak, to your point, actually. Jerry Jones came out this week and was like, Dak is, I wouldn't trade two first-round picks for Dak. Dak is going to get an extension. Yes. And all the fans in Dallas, I still listen to the ticket, Dallas Sports Radio, they were just like, why? Why? Why, why? why, why? Say that? why yeah. are you saying that now? Wait a year at best. Two first rounders? We would yeah. all take two first rounders right. for Dak. Everybody would. But that is to your point of Dak had their back. Yes. Dak's He's a get company money. man. So your GM, his job is to draft and bring in players to help you win. If this is a perfect example as to why Brent never played, Brent was undrafted. If Brent comes in and is playing better than the guys he drafted, the owner says, Ooh, what do I need, I need you, you for? You don't even know what you're doing. Yeah. So they won't play a guy who wasn't drafted or who, who they didn't pick, draft or sign way more because <sighs> they look like they failed. And now, instead of saying, you know what, I fucked this one up, this guy's going to help us win, the GM will say, no, nah, I'm not playing Dude. him because I look like I've, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Shit. Girl Code, the TV show. Uh huh. Developed by MTV2 mm-hmm. when it was a channel, played on MTV. Right. Massively successful. You see I've these. I always wanted to be on there. You would have been great. So bad. But you yeah. see these. You see these girls. I mean, I was on it. But you see these girls, especially becoming like pseudo celebs, like like shutting down malls. You mm-hmm. know, like Carly Aquilino, a friend of ours. Anytime you saw a girl with orange hair, that was Carly. It, it was. Yeah. But shut down a mall. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like fucking famous. But it was developed by MTV2. Mm. It's getting success on MTV. MTV starts going, well, we have people here who create shows, GMs. Mm-hmm. We can't have this other little channel making the shows that are popular Definitely. on our network. Don't program it, meaning don't put it on. Yeah. Put it on every once in a while. They fucking sabotaged that show that was killing it for yeah. them to protect their own, own jobs yep. as creators. And this is happening in at the, the fucking NFL. highest levels at the NFL yes. as well. Quarterbacks are snitching or quarterbacks are the feds. GMs, GMs are looking out for themselves. Are only looking out for themselves. So they keep their job. And part of their job is getting players to sign cheap. So they're burying certain players. <laughs> yep. They're making certain players look shittier so yeah. they can re-sign them for, for less money. Their whole organizations are holding on for to criminal information. Yes. Protecting players. Yes. For criminal information. Yes. yes. Right? Just so that they can release it right around contract time. Not because you care about how a player treats his wife or nope. does drugs or anything like that, but so you can get a few million knocked off. Yep. On the contract. I mean, these teams are worth billions of dollars. They're greedy. So for ill shit to be going on doesn't not make sense. I, I, you know yeah. what I mean? I think that makes a lot. Yeah. Like uh, the yep. Cowboys are worth five billion dollars, and, he, and, and they're, they're corporate still espionage. greedy, and they're still fucking. That's greedy. how rich people stay rich. Yeah, that's, that yeah. is how. That is every billion dollar corporation is going to be like that. Yeah. Dude, I am just like this is wild. 